The Broadcom Masters is the most powerful STEM competition for middle school students in the United States. The Broadcom Masters is a program designed not just to compete, but to develop 21st century skills so that they'll have the confidence to become the scientists and engineers of the future. When I got the call, I, I was ecstatic for life. I'm still ecstatic. I'm really excited to be back again. This is my chance to share my love of penguins with basically the entire science community. You get to spend a week with people who share your ideals. You meet people from Florida, Utah, California, and they all have their different views. You see all these uh, ideas come together under one roof. We can take our ideas and combine them and then like make a new idea out of all of that. Every person has a role that helps the team succeed. We had a challenge to use Raspberry Pi to light up an LED while rolling a ball. We were looking at nutrition and creating a game. And that was a lot of fun because I enjoy engaging creativity in exploring sciences. We also did a challenge with purifying water. I liked Georgetown a lot because I want to go into medicine. I thought it was really cool that I was able to tour a medical facility. The most interesting project is the ROV. It's the remote control operating vehicle. We were able to get some sediment from the bottom of the Chesapeake Bay. I've never been sailing before where you use nets to catch fish, but it was a really fun experience. When we were pulling the sea life out of the estuary, they were jumping their hands, they were real creatures, and it felt amazing. Broadcom Masters Public Day is about bringing everyone from the Washington, D.C. greater area to come and meet these 30 finalists and to be inspired. That's what the science fair is about, by getting so many more kids into science. We're, we're encouraging young minds to make a difference in the world eventually. Being a Broadcom master means that I can help people learn more about the world and given that my project really impacts like third world countries and refugees. If uh, my oxygen generator was applied to a lot of buildings, it can help a lot of people. My project revolutionizes sports trainings as well as preventing injury and detecting injury. We see how our farm raised clams are very unhealthy and contaminated with microplastics. There are around 12 million children in the world who have amblyopia and each face the issues I have. Developing the 21st century skills requires more than just being all by yourself. It requires a team. It requires you not only to engage mentors, they may be your family, parents, sisters, brothers, teachers, or they may be interested people in your community. I actually have two mentors that I really want to talk about. There's a teacher called Mr. Adams. The other person I'd like to shout out is my dad. My inspiration is my grandpa because he was really interested in solar panels and it really got me interested in it in the first place. We met because I read that he did an article that was quite similar to what I did. So I emailed him and then he invited me to come to a conference. Just to always ask questions, be a good student, and then try to approach them after class if you have problems or something you're interested in and they will definitely support you and help you. The one big advice I would give is to not think about what other people think about you. No matter what you do, just don't give up on it. Just remember that you're changing the world through science and that is an amazing thing. Being here has really humbled me in the way that I know that humanity and the society itself is going to be taken care of because these people are, are the people that are going to be changing the world for years to come. I am a Broadcom master. I'm a Broadcom master. It's my pleasure to welcome you to the 2017 Broadcom Masters.
honored. And I was really thinking of everyone who helped me along the way and all the other kids who I know who had such amazing projects. I'm honestly so honored and I'm so excited. This award is just the cherry on top of everything that happened this week. It is the opportunity of a lifetime and I will never, ever forget it. My fellow finalists, the fact that they are amazing, talented, smart. I can't wait to see what you guys will become. Every single one of these kids, all the 30 finalists tonight were winners.